So here we have this thrift find, this Iowa kind of a boombox kind of deal. It's got the cassette tape, which I had gone through and originally when I was at the store, I think I paid seven dollars for this thing. I, I plugged it in and I put a tape in and it was very low, the volume. I mean, you couldn't even hardly hear it. So I'd gone through the head. Uh, it looked like this thing was stored in the basement somewhere because there was some actually some rust in there. But I cleaned the head up and the tape sounds great. The FM stereo sounds good. We just got to deal with this CD player here. I noticed this button is kind of collapsed in. All the other buttons have that kind of a nice little click to it when you press on it. And there's a repeat button here. So what I might end up doing is switching inside with the soldering iron. We can switch because we're not going to use the repeat button. But we can sure use the switch that it uses because it's identical to these other buttons. So let's open it up and take a look inside and see what we can't make this thing do for seven bucks. Okay, so we've almost got it entirely apart here. We got a few things more we have to do and uh, to get to these buttons here in the front. So it looks like there's some screws on this board here we're going to have to remove. And once I do that I'll come back and we'll continue with restoring this piece of crap radio CD player slash cassette which I would be happy just using the cassette part of it but I just it bothers me not to have things that don't work entirely you know it's like I don't even have a lot of CDs but I mean just uh, the challenge I guess of seeing if we can get it working if not it's fine you know it was only seven bucks it's not a waste total waste so let's continue taking it apart and uh, we'll be back. Okay, so we have it apart here and what you're looking at, these are the actual buttons that we were looking at in the front. You have the play button here, there's stop button, over here we have that repeat button, now the play button, it's kind of hard to see but there's some rust on these buttons too which tells me it was kept in the basement or somewhere where there's a lot of moisture but the, the play button someone probably was just you know over time from pressing it all the time or just pressing it too hard it has no kind of a click to it see these other buttons have kind of a soft it's a soft switch and this one doesn't so that we found our problem it's definitely this you know so all you can really do is replace this or what we're going to do is since I don't really care about the repeat button I don't care about repeating the song you know I can rewind I could just seek back you know the track I don't have to repeat it nothing annoys me than songs that just repeat themselves over and over again we don't need that so maybe we'll steal this we'll get the soldering iron and take this out of here and switch it with the play switch let's take a look at you can see the there's just a plastic gear here that drives the tuning there's the tuning there it's just a plastic cheapo gear which touches this gear which when you have this knob in here and you turn this knob see how it turns that turns that gear which touches that gear and tunes the radio so that's your tuning part of it it's really not a lot to it. You got the speakers are in good shape.
some flux on this. It's a desoldering braid, kind of like a sponge for solder. Okay, so here we are with the switch. It's one of those. It's a real tiny push button switch. I don't know if you can see it. Usually, when you you'll recognize one of these switches in electronics when you press on, it's kind of got a soft press to it. it. Makes kind of a little little clicking noise. Not much. This has no action at all. So that's the play switch that I just removed. For the CD player so what I'm going to do is I want to zoom in here and let you see I had desoldered it uh, it's kind of hard to see where it was you kind of see that's where it was right there Now what I have are nice clean holes because I'm going to move the I'm going to move that button right there which is the repeat button which is working great because it's identical if you look they're identical switches so I'm going to use this switch since I don't care about repeat and I'm going to install it in the area here for the play and let's see if we can't get this thing playing CDs I'll be back when I've moved this switch here over here to this new spot and we'll be back okay so as you can see I have the new switch in place it's not soldered yet, but I poked it through those four holes that I had cleaned out where the old one was. You see a nice clear picture of what the switch looks like there. I do see some rust on those other switches. Like I said, that tells me it was stored in the basement. That doesn't affect the operation of those switches, so I'm not really worried about it sound nice when you press them like these two buttons are the seek forward and seek backwards buttons so we have it in place here let's solder it in and get it back together okay so I'm almost done MacGyvering it here I just got to put another solder join on here. Kind of give you an idea of how it's done.
looks good to me. Now the play button's got a nice, I don't know if you can hear it, nice little click to it. So that's working. The skip button sound good and then of course this is the repeat button. This is the button that we stole from and swapped it out the switch with the play pause button. So let's continue putting this thing back together. And we'll see what we got. Okay, so here we are. I've, I've almost put it back together. Just a couple more things I got to do, but I've got enough together where I can power it on and kind of see if it's going to work or not. I don't really have a lot of CDs. But I do have this. It's a scratch. It's a little bit scratched. The CD that I had made years ago. Maybe about 10 years ago is when I first started doing music. I had some guys come over and made some beats and they they rapped over some beats. So let's see if this thing plays. I haven't heard this thing in years. And see if we got this play button fixed. It's good so far. Ah. Nice. Looks like we might have it. For those about to rap. Negativity you ejected into my head and making me furious. All in my business, but the jury is my music and God's my witness. So I hope you've enjoyed my video on how to fix a play button on a broken piece of crap. And that's fine. It's really not that bad for a kind of a classic boom box kind of deal. But for seven bucks. Just a simple fix of and some soldering, and you have a workable, perfect radio. Thanks for watching.